from a book by Rudyard Kipling called A Diversity of Creatures. Okay. Um, this, this particular one is, um, it, 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 I find it enjoyable anyway. Um, it was before the First World War, clearly. When Julius Fabricius, sub-prefect of the Weald, in the days of Diocletian, known our low river field, he called to him Hobdenius, a Briton of the clay, saying, what about the river bit for laying into hay? And that aged Hobden answered, I remember as a lad my father told your father that it wanted greening bud. More that you neglect to the less you'll get a clean, have it just as you've a mind to, but if I was you, I'd drain. So they drained it, long and crosswise, in the lavish Roman style. Still we find upon the river bit the, rain, the r flakes of ancient tile, and in droughty middle August, when the b bones of metal show, you can see the lines they followed 1,600 years ago. Then Julius Fabricius died, as even prefects do, and after certain centuries, imperial Rome died too. Then did robbers enter Britain from across the northern main, and our lower river field was won by Ogier the Dane. Well could Ogier work his war boat, well could Ogier wield his brand. Much he knew of foaming waters. Not so much a farming land. <clears throat> so he called to him a Hobden of the old unhalted blood, say, what about the river bit? The brook's got, um, it doesn't look no good. And that aged Hobden answered, ain't for me to interfere, but I've known that bit of meadow for five and fifty year. Have it just as you've a mind to, but I've proved it time on time. If you want to change your nature, you've got to give a line. Ogier sent his wains to Lewis, 20 hours solemn war, and brought back great abundance of that cool grain healing chalk. And Hobden spread it broadcast, never heeding what we're in, which is why when clearing ditches now and then we find a flint. Ogier died. His sons grew English, Anglo-Saxon was their name. Then out of Blossom Norn Normandy another pirate came, for Duke William conquered England and divided with his men. And our lower river field were, one gave to William of Warren. Now the brook, you know a habit, rose one wet, rainy autumn night and tore off sodden flitches to the back and to left and right and said, William to his bailiff, as they trod their dripping round, Oh, what about the river bit? The brook's got no, up oh, no bounds. And that aged of down answered, Ain't my business to advise, but you might have known it happened from the way the valley lies. If you can't hold back the water, you mun try and save the sail. Have it just as you've a mind to, but if I was you, I'd spile. So they spiled along the watercourse with trunks of willow trees, elm boards behind them in immortal oaken knees. And when the spates of autumn streak the gravel beds away, you can see the faithful fragments, iron hard, in iron clay. Georgi, Quinty, Anno, Sexto, I, who owned the river field and fortified with title deed, attested, signed and sealed, guaranteeing me my assigns, my executors and heirs, all kinds of powers and profits, which are neither mine nor theirs. I have rights of chase and warren, as my dignity requires. I can fish, but Hobden tickles. I can shoot. Hobden wires, I repair, and he reopens certain gaps which men allege have been used by every Hobden since the Hobden what swapped a hedge. Shall I dog his morning progress over track betraying due, demand his dinner basket into which my pheasant flew, confiscate his evening faggot into which my coney ran? 
and summon him to judgment, I'd sooner summon Pan. His dead are in the churchyard, thirty generations laid. Their names went down in Doomsday Book when Doomsday Book was made. And their passion and their piety and the tr prowess of his line a seeded, rooted, fruited in a land the Lord calls mine. Not for any beast that burrows, or for any bird that flies, would I lose his large sound counsel, miss, his keen amending eye, he is bailiff, woodsman, wheelwright, field surveyor, engineer. And if flagrantly a poacher, ain't for me to interfere. Hob, oh, what about the river bit? I turn to him again, with Fabricius, Anogia, and William of Warren. Have it just as you've a mind to, but... And so he takes command, for whoever pays the taxes, old Mus Hobden owns the land.